What is up, Boston Silscar fans, and welcome to our Season 1, Week 1 match of the XBL, that is the Extreme Battling League. We are invited to take on somebody else's team, T-Train, who unfortunately has left the league. Uh, once again, we are thrown into the situation where we're taking somebody else's team inside a league and trying to make work with it. Today, we're going up against Nate in our Week 1 battle. Let's just try and have some fun with it. I know he's waiting for me, so I feel bad, uh, because I actually had to do this intro like eight times, because I'm so out of practice uh, from this. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and confirm our party here. I feel so bad for making him wait. As you can see, we got a Blaziken, Latios, Florges, uh, Dewblade, Sandslash, and a, gosh darn, uh, Porygon 2. Let the battle begin. Let's do this. Whew, I'm extremely nervous. I feel bad that I just made Nate light wait that long because I was just trying to get the right intro. It's been too, too long. Uh, since we've done any competitive battling, and it makes me beyond nervous. Uh, we got no Curum this week. I prepped for his Curum Black. He has no Curum Black. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So he's got his Galvantula, Donvan, uh, Quillfish. Uh, he's probably going to lead with either the Quillfish, the Donvan, or the Galvantula. Would be my guess. I think Sandslash is a pretty safe bet because he might leave Victini and go for a U-turn as his first plan of action. So I'm thinking Sandslash is our best split bet just to get up some early game rocks for that um, Victini. But then, he, then again, he might be predict predicting that and going for his Tapu Bulu first turn. If that is the case, then our best bet, I can see, Tapu Bulu would, I don't know what that would actually be. Uh, let's go ahead and throw Quillfish in here, though. Quillfish. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go Sand Slash, because if he does Tapu Bulu, I think we have some switches in for that. So I'm going to start with Sasha, the Sand Slash, and then just go ahead and get everybody else in here. Uh, who else doesn't he have? Mm, Malamar. He does not have Malamar, so I'll get rid of Malamar for a Wigglytuff. Very interesting. Okay, let me confirm that. Everything's going down to the wire. I gotta do all my prep work. I'm trying to remember this. I feel like I've forgotten like my my type charts and everything since then. Since the last time we've done a battling thing. So I'm, I'm all sorts of whacked out, guys. I'm all sorts of whacked out. I am excited to be back, though. I am excited to be battling once again. The nerves flowing through me. Look at him in his orange and black stripes. He's on back. Oh, he did decide to lead with the top of Bulu. <laughs> That's rather unfortunate. That's rather unfortunate. Um, who is our switch into this top of Bulu? Tapu Bulu. I wonder if he's a Swords Dance set or what. I think. Let me look at my Pokemon really quick. Um, hmm. Pretty safe in switching is Wuffles. Let me really quickly check how Floor just does here. Now, I don't actually know what Floor just could do fully. I want to check what moves I have on Floor just. Uh, we got Protect, Synthesize, Moonblast, Giga Drain. Uh, so let's check somebody else. The Sneak, Iron Head. Could go for a knockoff. I know that would be not really the best play. Aww. No, I'm going to switch into Porygon. He might go for a fighting move, though. I, that was kind of a bad, bad choice. Bad choice. Bad choice. <laughs> He's going to set up a substitute. Okay. That does scare me. That does scare me because he's probably going to go for a fighting type move. Um, hmm. It probably has like substitute swords dance, horn leech, Superpower would be my guess. So, he's going for a superpower. Uh, 
It might be good to go into our Dew Blade. This is a superpower doing against our Porygon 2. Porygon 2. Man, I wish I had just predicted this lead like I'd planned, like I had thought of. But unfortunately, I did not. He, if he goes for a superpower, it only does like 50% to us anyways, if I'm calculating this right. So I'm going to go for an Ice Beam. Nature's Madness. What is that? I've never even heard of that. What is Nature's Madness? Wow, it did half HP. Nature's Madness. Pokemon Showdown. What is Nature? All right, Nature's Madness, which does damage equal to half the target's current HP. That's crazy. And he's got um, Substitute. So Substitute. Oh, that's nuts. I'm going to go for another Ice Beam. He has Wood Hammer, which might be enough to take us out. It is not enough to take us out. We stay in. We're going to go for the Ice Beam. We'll see how this does. Maybe we can get the Freeze. Ah, oh, no Freeze. No Freeze. Okay. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. Okay. Now, is he going to try and sub up here? Or is he just going to try and go for a kill? That is the question. So, Nature's Madness does half HP. Won't kill. Wood hammer wood, obviously. Um, now, I don't think he'll go for Nature's Madness because there's no point because he won't be able to kill P Dog. He'll go for Wood hammer, which we will resist well with our um, Dew Blade. Sasha could come in, but I don't think that's a good idea. Because he has Horn Leech. Uh, Huggin, no. Just in case he has a Fairy type move, we still don't know yet. Kung Pao is a pretty decently safe bet. Besides, if he takes all half of our HP. So, Kung Pao might be coming in here, getting that speed boost this turn. Uh. Okay, I clicked it. I clicked it. Let's see what happens. <sighs> Please don't go for that psychic move. Okay, went for a wood hammer. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. That still does a lot of damage. Why did that do so much damage? What? Why? Wait, where's speed boost? Speed boost didn't pop? Or will not pop until now? Where's speed boost? What the fudge? It has speed boost, why is it not activating? So did sp the speed boost not activate until next turn? Hmm. Can't go for an earthquake. Aqua Jet. Bummer. Bummer. Okay. That that sucks. Um, hmm. Or, I just gave him two of those. Oops. 
Let's see. So we can go the Latios. I'm gonna go into Latios. I don't know what this guy would have for Latios, so. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Dance. I'm gonna withdraw. I'm going to Tickles. You wiggly tough. Now, I'm going to kelp this out. Wiggly tough. Wiggly tough. Level 50. Going against a Latios. Level 50. Supposedly, if I go for a shattered psyche, it should kill right now. It should kill. I'm going to do it. Supposedly. According to the Celts, we'll see what happens. He might be like a Sash. He might be Sashed. Focus Sashed. I hope he's not. Because that would be embarrassing. That would be quite embarrassing. I don't think I've ever seen the Z move before. Okay, these counts are way off. Oh, he's a salt vest, probably, for one. Um. Hmm. That was my bad. Help this. I was being hasty there. Yeah, that was if he had no investment. Ah, we got a low roll too, even with all that. Oh, 250 HP. That was my bad. Okay. And now Psychic doesn't, uh, doesn't do quite so much. Psychic might kill now on a high roll. But I don't know if we should even risk that. That's a bummer. Uh, screw it. Let's just do it. I don't even care. I don't even care right now. Let's just go for a psychic. Who knows? Nothing. Does nothing. Man, even with giving him an assault vest, calm, full special defense, full HP, I should have done a lot more damage than that. That's why you can't trust Calcs. This is why you cannot trust Calcs. Okay, so I could bring P Dog in. I think and start recovering and get a Pokemon back up to healthy. Um, Wigglypuff, Wigglytuff. Speed is forty-five. Porygon 2 speed. 60. Do I want to do that, or do I want to just kill this thing while I can? Ah, whatever. Let's, let's, it doesn't matter too much, guys. This game is just to get the rust off. Just to get the rust off. Okay. Go for recover. Don't know if Dazzling Gleam will kill or not. 
even afterward. Focus Blast. He's got Focus Blast and he connects. We're dead. We're definitely dead. Oh my god, we barely survive. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, this is really awkward now. Oh boy. Alright, so Focus Blast. Got Focus Blast. Um, I'm gonna switch in. Uh, I know this is crazy. I'm gonna switch in Dewblade, and I think our only hope of this battle is me setting up a Sword Stance. It's gonna withdraw. He reads it and sends out Miami, which is gonna be the Dawn Fan, of course. Dawn Fan can Earthquake us pretty well. Um, that's a shame. I should just stayed and went for Ice Beam. I was thinking about it too. That would have been a great play. Oh boy. All right, Wuffles. All right, Wuffles, get out of here. I knew this battle wasn't going to go well, well for us, though. Right from the start. Just knocking off the leftovers. No big deal, no big deal. I'm going to go for a Giga Drain, which he could bring in his Victini on. Now, do I make a prediction that he's going to bring in Victini? I don't know what I would do. Victini resists both of these stabs, so I don't know why he wouldn't bring in Victini. They're going to bring in Sasha this turn. Let's see if he's going to go into his Victini or not. I bet he won't. I bet he'll read this, too. He'll be like, oh, he's probably expecting me to go into Victini. And then he's just going to go for a move, and it's going to make me look like a fool. He's going to withdraw. He's going to send out Spiker Foosh. How do you know? So he didn't go for the Victini, he went for the Spiker Spoosh. Spoosh. Um, now he's going to think, oh, he stayed in last time. Go for an Aqua Jet. Or what? I'm going to go back into Wuffles. Watch him go into Victini. Watch him pro play and go into Victini. gonna do it he's gonna do it gosh darn it don't do it don't do it don't do it uh he's withdrawing he's gonna go into victini holy crap are you kidding me weberoni okay no that's his um galvantula which is not uh not awful but not great if i'd gone for an earthquake that wouldn't have been that bad Probably going to go for that stupid speed decreasing move. Uh, I think at some point I just have to go for a move. Even if he brings out his Victini. He goes for Sticky Web. I should have just switched so I could have went for an immediate rapid spin. 2020 hindsight though. All right. Now I feel like he thinks, okay, now I go into my Victini. Because he's just going to go for another Moon Blast, right? Right? Am I right or am I wrong? I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to Sasha. Let's play a little bit crazy. Let's play a little bit crazy. So he would have outsped, so he stayed in. going to go for Volt Switch, which does not affect me. Fan-freaking-tastic, man. 
All right, do I go for a knockoff or the rapid spin? Uh, I don't really have anything that needs to outspeed. But I could go for the knockoff, which would be pretty sweet. Maybe bring it. Or I could go for stealth rocks, get free stealth rocks up. Damage or stealth rocks? I can go for the knockoff. Energy ball, he's packing energy ball. Which does a massive number to us. Should have went for the um for the stealth rocks. Again, hindsight 2020. But hey, the learning experience. I hope he brings in Victini and just goes for a V crate, just like so you can take my Rocky helmet damage. That'd be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. That'd be nice. All right, no more Galvantula. No more Blaze again. Fox that he got Blaze again so fast. Uh, we also have no more Latios. Our two biggest hitters are dead, so we're screwed, essentially. Fun times. And Porygon is pretty much dead as well. And same with Sand Slash. So it's all up to Florges and Dewblade to do this. Not gonna happen. Unfortunately. Very unfortunately. He actually doesn't have to do anything. He wins no matter what. Because even if I got a Swords Dance up, I can't even Oko a uh, Victini without the rocks up. I should put the rocks up. I wasn't thinking. If the rocks were up, one sword stance on a Dewblade Shadow Sneak could take the Victini down, but I didn't set up the rocks. I was not thinking. See, this is how far out of competitive battling I am right now. Uh, I didn't even think of Energy Ball. Like, that's such an easy, like, obvious thing, but I didn't think of Energy Ball. So. It happens, though. We'll get back into it. We'll get back into the battling spirit here. All right, he's going to set up the rocks. I'm going to set up the rocks. So I should No, he'll go straight for a knockoff. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Knocked off a rocket helmet. He takes a little bit of rocket helmet damage, breaking his sturdy. And we can go ahead. Out of curiosity. Take a sword. Nah. Uh, going to do anything to you. All right, so I think P-Dog comes in. P-Dog goes for a recover. Although I think we'll be slower, actually, because of Sticky Web. Shoot, guys. I really bunked up. I really bunked up. Okay. Um... I'll go for a Giga Drain, even though I know he's going to just switch into Victini. Like, why not? Right? Boom, boom, da, boom. Oh, he did not. He goes for high horsepower. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know Don Fan actually learned that now. As we go for the Giga Drain, hopefully get all this nice juicy XP back at uh, HP. He doesn't even die to that. That's crazy. Doesn't even die to that. What? High horsepower. That's a ground type move? Okay. Hey, I don't even know all these new things. Pretty sure that's, that's ground type. Okay. Uh... Church. Just bring in the Victini. Just do it. Just do it. He's going to bring in the Victini. No, he brings in Spiker Foosh. He's going to get an Intimidate off, which doesn't really matter against our Wuffles. 
Give me some of that HP dough. Okay. Okay. Now or never. It's now or never. Number 13, go. Oh, we're not killing this thing no matter what. It's okay, though. Maybe we'll scare him. And we'll scare him out. Get out of here. Shoo. Be gone. I actually kind of hope he goes into Wigglytuff for some reason. I want I want Wigglytuff to come in so I can set up uh, Swords Dance. Please be Wigglytuff. Pickles! That's Wigglytuff. He's going to have, like, Fire Punch, though. You already know it. You already know it. All right, Swords Dance, Fire Blast. He, he predicted it. He knew that this is what was happening. He connects his Fire Blast too. Like that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Um. Plus two. And the wiggly tough. Iron head. Well, I don't think we outspeed this wiggly tough though. So he has to miss like his fire blast. I'm going for iron head. I do feel oh he didn't miss. Are you kidding me? Didn't okay, we lost. He didn't miss a single move. He we went for a focus blast, two fire blasts. And whatever else nonsense, he didn't miss a single freaking move. Wow. Fun times. Guess I don't wish he went out to Tickles anymore. Wow. That's rough. That is rough. I'm gonna try and maintain differential and go into his Victini now. Nope, just stays in, goes for a Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> Barely does any damage. I should have just went for Moonblast. Would have uh, actually kept more HP if I did that. I'm going to go for Synthesis. I'm going to go for a Psychic. And we go for a Synthesis. <laughs> uh... That's too fun. All right, Moonblast. Man, I gotta get back into the game. This is sad. This is really sad. Can you please show me your Victini now? Do you not even have Victini? Am I just crazy? He brought in Spiker Foosh. I feel like he just doesn't have Victinis. Eh, I don't have Victini. Eh. Um, I don't know why he's just toying with me, man. He must not have it. He would have brought it out by now. I don't see why he wouldn't. Poison Jab. not even getting any love. Such a shame. He deserves all the love. Oh, man. This battle just felt so bad. Feels bad, man. We played so much better. We had, I think this could have been a different game. If we had led with... Uh, if we had made that prediction for the top of Bolu lead, it could have been a little bit of a different game altogether, but okay. All right. Uh, just go for a recover. 
It doesn't matter anyways. Okay, well, good game to Nate. Uh, thank you guys for checking out the video. Unfortunately, our first battle in the XBL is a loss, but hey, whatever. It's no big deal. We'll come back next week, hopefully score ourselves a win. Uh, this week was mostly just trying to get some of that rust off anyway. So see you guys all then. Till then, stay frosty and peace out.